Hello everyone, it's Stephen Clark here and friends. Having a light-hearted look at the news in Thailand and surrounding areas in Southeast Asia. Thailand's Education Minister issues new rules. Skippy school uniforms are now banned in Thailand. The airport saga continues. Very exciting. Uh, this is not exciting. 77,000 Bangkok residents living with HIV. But first up, and from Vietnam we have cyber security law takes effect in Vietnam. Oh, what's going to happen? That's quite a good article actually. Some news items used in Talkback Thailand and Thailand Unplugged come from many different sources on social media and presented under fair use. Our thanks to Thai PBS, Bangkok Post, The Tiger, Phuket News, Thai Visa and Thai English News. Thank you and enjoy the video. Facebook has violated Vietnam's new cyber security law by allowing users to publish anti-government comments. The ministry has said Facebook has allowed anti-government protests and personal information to be posted on Facebook pages. The Vietnam government has stated it wants to weed out toxic information on YouTube and Facebook. Vietnam's controversial new cybersecurity law took effect Tuesday, alarming free speech advocates worldwide. Although the law has not been officially published, it has been passed by the National Assembly and have released texts indicating the provisions of the law, outlining the scope and the information that will be affected by it. This will include software, digital devices used by the informant's system, the informant means internet provider, as well as information that is stored, processed and transmitted by the information system. So in a nutshell, what does it all mean? Propaganda towards the state, that means saying naughty things about Vietnam, instigating violence, disrupting security or public order, slander, and you cannot publish family secrets, the protection of children. Providers of these internet services are responsible for the distribution of illegal material and the prevention of sharing illegal material as mentioned before. What does all this mean? No more doxing. And to stop providing internet to people that break these rules. Which basically means um, no more trolling, no more nasty letters, no more fake accounts, no more nothing. You use your own name and that's it. So you're not allowed to share personal information, defame somebody or anybody, tell lies about anybody, cause someone stress over the internet is illegal in Vietnam at the moment. Internet providers have been given 12 months to conform to the new law, which will include Google and YouTube and Facebook. Education Minister issues new rules. Skimpy uniforms will not be tolerated in Thailand. Viewers of Thai dramas may notice how female students sometimes wear short skirts, tight shirts as school uniforms. According to the Thai Education Ministry, the images portrayed in Thai dramas aren't far off from how female Thai students allegedly style their school uniforms. But now the ability to express oneself using short skirts and tight shirts has now been banned in Thailand. The minister used his power under the Child Protection Act of 2003 to tighten up and add it to regulations that had not been amended since 2005. They announced new regulations that would change students' behaviour and school violence and rivalry. There is a serious problem with inter-school violence which has seen a number of students killed in Bangkok this year in lethal street attacks, including one notorious case where a handgun purchased for 2,000 baht was used to kill a student. Some of the feuds included a murder of a 16-year-old student from Summit Prakon and stabbing of another student by a student from a rival school while both were in the city bus. Violation of the new regulation faced a fine of 30,000 Thai baht or possible jail term. Some argue that the schools already have a strict clothing policy 
and that principals make sure that students follow protocol. The second key change to school regulation deals with sexual suggestive behaviour and the attire of pupils at school. It is understood that this is to counteract a trend among some female students to wear such attire including short miniskirts. Some argue that Thailand's new uniform rules target females, leads to sexual assault and harassment. So what do you think about the new dress code? Leave your comments below and we'll discuss them. Johnny, so I am reporting. Congestion, arrivals, Bangkok airports. The government has ordered an increase in check-in counters for both Don Mueang and Sawanipun airports. The directive has come as a result of overcrowding as the airport struggled to cope with the demand for visas on arrival. A spokesman for PM Chanachat has ordered the problem-solving guidelines to be explained to all staff. Wallace, we're on the subject of airports. The Thai Association of Siamese Architects has delivered a letter of protest to Prime Minister Janachev over the airports of Thailand to build a second terminal at Sawanipun Airport. The airports of Thailand and the Association of Siam Architects are at loggerheads and other related organisations as AOT wishes to pursue the construction of the second terminal. But the architects of Thailand said that the, the planning did not follow the 2010 Cabinet decision for planning, design and implementing expansion to meet demands of existing terminal. The proposed terminal by AOT would have a cost of approximately 42 2 billion baht, requiring a lot of infrastructure and it has been slammed because its emphasis was more on retail space over passenger space. Another story that comes into mind was the probe of legality of Central Village Bangkok. The Department of Provisional Administration has been asked to investigate. Central Village Bangkok is next to Sawanipun Airport. The retail development is located on the south side of Highway 370, running along the south at the Sawanipun Airport. The project owner insists everything is legal. In the meantime, airports of Thailand objected, citing lights from the development may hinder pilots. The airports of Thailand also hindered a water pipe development a water stop. Airports of Thailand also hindered a water pipe project to take water to the development and taking things into their own hands has blockaded the entry to the new development. As the saga continued, Central Village, Bangkok, a 5 billion baht luxury outlet was scheduled to open last Saturday, but with the gates blocked by airports of Thailand. In response, the owners petitioned the Administer Minister of Court of Thailand for an injunction the injunction was granted and airports of Thailand were ordered to remove all obstacles blocking the entrance. The owners of Central Village, Bangkok, have praised the Central Administration Court. The shopping mall will open and will employ over a thousand people. It is also supplying free buses from Central Village to BTS Udom Sok Station. Thank you. Johnny Siam here. Thailand's authorities have estimated there are 77,500 people living in the Bangkok area with AIDS. 1,200 cases were identified this year under the age of 25. These figures were released at a meeting to improve measuring and monitoring of people with AIDS. The system is designed to stop more people from contracting AIDS. They conceded that 55,000 people with HIV in Bangkok are receiving antiviral drugs. The committee will roll out technology to ensure that the people infected with HIV will maintain a good quality of life. The meeting was attended by 150 nurses and computer operators from DMA hospitals. I don't know why they had their computer operators there, but never mind.